Moving out to Arizona, away from my gang, my bosses, my street, life rules, the street code, no eyes were on me. It gave me a chance to indulge in all my desires and sin. It gave me the green light and it led me into all kinds of problems from prison to rehab center to losing my job to just drama, toxic relationships. You wanna hear stories about a lost kid, gangs, cartel, drugs, murder, prison. But the greatest story is that today I walk with Jesus and I share my stories to help people that feel hopeless and lost, just like I did. I'm here to tell you to pick up your cross and walk with me. Let's get into this video. Cartel got me working for the big faces. Federally got my car full of brick cases. Hit the pin with a grin, there ain't no faking. I spit to my back for my shoelaces. Got out, should have seen the look on they faces. All jealous cause your boy stacking hella paper. Set up by the crew, they done put a banger. In the trunk of my car and left me to hang there. No thing, then attorney went and beat the case. Got a job digging holes for minimum wage. Had a dream that Cato said he proud of me. Stay here, don't leave, keep doing your thing. Quit the drugs, but you know what? Went back to selling, six time failing. I went back to prison, got my head right, got my bread right. Push these weights like a kilo in a tailpipe. Trying to do right, I got a mission. Trying to get back to my boys in the prison. The old me's gone, I ain't never. What's up guys, my name is JC, I am Wrong the Strong. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss nothing. If you're part of my team, mi familia, mi raza, you already know what time it is. Subate la suburban, cause we about to go see Jesus. What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Wrong the Strong. Yes sir. I, uh, when I moved out here to Phoenix, uh, I was really thinking that it was going to be like a new life for me, a new, a new change. I was running from a lot of, you know, hate, drugs, a, a lot of street stuff over there in Chicago. I figured me moving out here, I was going to, I was going to be set, you know, I was going to open up a business. I had a, a large amount of money, a new truck, car, motorcycle, I had jewelry. A lot of expensive clothes, so I, I thought I was set. I thought that I had all the material stuff that I needed. Now I just open up a business and I'm set for the rest of my life. The difference between Chicago and Arizona is that <laughs> there's a strip club on every corner here in Arizona. There's a massage parlor, swinger club. There's a lot of different kind of sin, I call it, from Chicago. In Chicago, it was the street life. It was shootings, drugs, making money, robbing people trying to kill people, staying alive. It, it was a very different, you know, sinful nature, I guess you could say, than here for me. Me not being able to control lust and sex, like desires, led me to a lot of problems. I mean, six months later, I was already completely broke. I pretty much spent close to a quarter million dollars in six months. No job would take me, I had no skills, my background was no bad. I was from one girl to another with nowhere to live. The end result of all that sin was just complete destruction of me, my morality. You know, sin destroys lives, marriages, homes, children, jobs. Throughout the time, it's taken a toll on our kids today. It's like it comes in stages. First comes the desire stage. <laughs> If you have no self-control, if you are not seeking the Lord, you fall into your desire, and then after that is done and over with, then you feel the guilt. The Bible says that guilt is the aftermath of sin. Guilt is God's way of pretty much telling man to check, his, check himself, like check your soul. <laughs> Most of us just don't 
We feel it, but we don't pay attention to it because we're too busy in our lives, in our sin, in our, you know, the, the seeking of fulfillment. Guilt is just like, like pain. When I have clients that have knee replacements or shoulder, hips, I always have to wait till they're off their pain meds to pretty much see where the, most of the pain is happening so I could see what muscle I need to target that's the weakest. God gives us pain to show us that we have a physical problem and guilt is to show us that we have a moral problem. They're all, it's all there. It's pretty like, pretty black and white, really like simple if we just slow down and seek him and make him the first priority in our lives. This is why I seek God every day. He's given me the self-control. So it's desire, guilt. Now you're feeling like you have no meaning, no assignment, no purpose. This is a very dangerous stage because then it starts getting darker and darker. Desire, guilt, no purpose. Then the stage of hopelessness, the lack of hope, pretty much just giving up. I've been there way too many times and I was so hard-headed that I paid the price. Always pick door B. <laughs> I took a lot of detours, a lot of detours. I also wouldn't be the man that I am today because of those detours. So I'll take it like a champ. <laughs> the only way to be free of guilt is to confess one's faults to God. Just as Adam got called out in the garden, Adam ran because he felt guilty to hide. God is looking to draw you to him by his goodness so that you may repent. Do you have any kind of spiritual belief? And just leave the comments on the bottom to all five questions. Who is Jesus to you? Do you believe there is a heaven and a hell? If you die right now, if you get killed out down the street, where would you go? And if heaven, why? If what you believe is not true, wouldn't you want to know the truth? Don't forget to visit us at www.wrongtostrong.com for future events, donations. My name's JC. I am Wrong to Strong. Don't judge nobody. Stay in your lane. Live savage. And remember, live for him. Catch you guys in the repo.